Boom! What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol ARVL, Arriver. So this is one of our EV stocks that we've been covering here on the channel. We started talking about this particular company even before they went public. Um, I did some research. It's a company based out of London in the UK. And I think it's your leading uh, EV manufacturer. But right now, they're still in the state of development. They haven't started producing vehicles yet. So, But there's some good news here. And they're making some partnerships that I want to cover uh, with you guys. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So the news that I want to share with you guys today is not something that um, it's a quick reaction or something that you're going to see a quick pop in, this, in the stock price. But this one is something that I've been preaching here on the channel telling you guys to start preparing for it because this is a long-term play. So for those of you guys that are short-sighted, if you're only looking immediate wins, then you're going to miss out on this. And this is a clear example of these companies playing the game that I've been teaching you guys here on the channel. Like start looking three, four steps ahead. This is like a 3D chess. Look four steps ahead so that by the time we get to that point, you are already in, in the driver's seat and ready to go. So again, I want you to think from the position of an investor, not just a trader uh, making quick money. So let's jump in the news here. Uh, as you can see, uh, Lifecycle partners with Arriver to advance EV battery recycling. So I have been preaching here on the channel telling you guys that when it comes to EV, it's a, the whole ecosystem of EV cars. You don't just look at the cars. You don't just look at batteries. You also focus on the future, which is recycling, because we're using lithium. And they're not just going to dump this lithium uh, and, and kind of dummy art. They're going to try to recycle this lithium and reuse it for sustainability. So Arriver is already thinking that even before they start producing their vehicles, so they, they, they're going that two or three steps ahead again. Imagine these guys are entrepreneurs, so they're not only looking at solving an immediate problem, they're solving long-term problems that they can identify right now. So we jumped on this. I started preaching this like, hey, start looking at lithium recycling companies. If you can see now, Lifecycle is partnering with Arriver. Um, Arriver has had some, some delays with their production, so they have to move it to, to 2022, I think third quarter of 2022. I still don't think they're going to meet that because of the way... Uh, things are being slowly developed. Um, so I actually had an interview with the CEO here on the channel. I think it was last year. We talked about the direction that the company was going and stuff like that. I mean, he was very positive. But again, um, to start producing electric buses and electric vans and stuff like that, it's not an easy task. Very few companies can easily do that. So we talk about the Teslas, the Lucid. Um, those are companies, Neo. Those are companies that have actually done it. So Arriver is still... In the early stages we we cover it here and i told you guys don't look at this the company short term look at it long term because they are trying to carve out a niche which is they're going to focus on electric buses here in the us as well as in the uk and i'm pretty sure they want to go global and so not just that but they also have technology that they plan on selling to other uh ev companies as well as their, their approach to production, which is using micro factories, I think is, is brilliant. So, uh, but overall here is, if you start looking at it, Elon Musk has talked about recycling, that they probably want to start recycling their own batteries. Because if you see, they try to keep everything in house. Uh, Elon Musk started with the cars, they have their own ch uh, charging network. And then now they're talking about recycling. And um, you know, I love Redwood Material, which is another recycling company that's not even public yet. And again, I'm going to break that one uh, here for you guys. As soon as they announce they're going public, I'm going to jump on it because the guy that started that company has some connections with Elon Musk. So, and I like that. So, but your mindset should be thinking that way as well. So, this partnership just kind of proof what we've been really talking here and trying to hammer here on the channel that the now that we have electric vehicles, the next big thing in that whole 
ecosystem would be recycling. So we've talked about the vehicles, the batteries, the charging stations. Now recycling is starting to pick up. Um, and if you look at other companies like, like GE, Ford, and all these other companies that are getting into this space, lithium recycling is going to be massive. And the companies that invest in this recycling upfront would build all these partnerships before they even get to the point where we need to start recycling this battery. So that's something that I wanted to make sure that you guys actually um, are aware of. So and again, just go out, take a look at Arriver. I like their, their designs of their, their, their vans. I like their electric buses. But again, these are all concept. They haven't really started manufacturing. So until they get to that point, uh, this is a high risk, high reward um, investment. Lifecycle right now, they are actually going through the process, uh, refining their process of recycling uh, lithium. Um, so again, uh, I, I covered them here on the channel. If you go back, you might see some videos where we talked about them uh, here on the channel. So this news came out. Um, it didn't really do much for Arriver. Again, you can see here the stock is just, if we can go back here six months, we can see that the stock has just been trending um, it, you know, up here, pull back down and then squeeze up and now by way down to um, the lows. This, if we take year to date, uh, see, this is really trading at the lowest point that you've existed. So again, for a stock like this, if you were ever thinking about opening up a position, I think this would be an ideal time for you to open that position in Arriver. So we can take a look here at Lifecycle. It's pretty much the same thing. So Lifecycle still has this opportunity here. Again, they are in the early stages of their development. So if you can just take a look here at their one more trend, you can see uh, just up and down, up and down. But again, these are long-term plays because Lifecycle, if you are looking um, the future when these electric vehicles, let's say five, 10 years from now, when all these vehicles start breaking down, then you'll see a great opportunity. But you're probably asking yourself like, but why should I put my money there and sit and wait 10 years? I, I, I mean, you don't have to, but this is what investors do. You put money in, in anticipation that when this thing break out in the future, the breakout would be great that you would make a lot of money in return. So I just want to make sure that um, you guys are aware of that. Again, the news here is a rival partnership with um, Lifecycle to kind of build a sustainable um, approach to electric vehicles, recycling of their batteries. So Arriver is building a manufacturing plant in, uh, I think, North Carolina. And then they also have some in Europe, in the UK. So if they partner with uh, you know, Lifecycle, they're going to be working here in the United States as well as in Europe to expand their recycling of uh, lithium battery. So again, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about um, this partnership? Again, my whole idea here is we're thinking three, four steps ahead. We started talking about electric vehicles. We talked about lithium. We talked about batteries. We talked about charging. And then now I want you to put on your, your hat and think even further recycling as the next big thing in this whole ecosystem. I bet my money on it and you guys are going to see this thing come to fruition. So think that way. It doesn't mean that you have to take everything and put it in there, but at least open up a position um, and just secure that for now so that by the time we get to that point, you're not just uh, starting, but you are already in there, which makes it a lot easier for you to continue to build up your position. So let me know again in the comment section what you think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, uh, Moomoo has a promotion where if you sign up, deposit $1, $2, $3, whatever, you get five free stocks. So it goes from $9 to like $3,500. So again, it's it's a random draw. So I'll put the links in the description. Go sign up, collect all these free stocks and accumulate them in one account. And then you can start building uh, you know, your, your portfolio. So again, free stocks, links in the description. And as always guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.